This video is to be used for educational purposes only and is not intended to replace individual research or licensed investment advice. Unique experiences and past performances do not guarantee future results. Trading stocks, options, and spot currencies involves substantial risk. There is always the potential for loss. Your trading results may vary. No representations are being made that any software or training will guarantee profits or not result in losses from trading. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the Market Wrap for March 19th, 2007. In the news today, officials from Japan Airlines are negotiating with representatives from pilots and other labor unions to avert a planned 24-hour strike over pay. An airline spokesman said 26% of JAL's domestic flights will be canceled, affecting 17,000 passengers if the walkout goes ahead as planned. JAL, based in Tokyo, is the country's largest airline. International Exchange said it has delivered its proposed mergers agreement to CBOT Holdings. CBOT, the offer which is estimated to be worth $10 billion, was first announced last week and rivals a definite agreement with CBOT already has in place with the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. The deals with CME value CBOT at roughly $8 billion. Hercules Offshore Inc., as a U.S. oil and gas driller that doubled its sales last year, agreed to buy a fellow dr driller, Todco, for about $2.3 billion to expand overseas and take advantage of record rig rents. Todco's stockholders will get $16 in cash and 9.79 shares for Hercules for each of their shares. The deal values Todco at $42.01 a share, 21% higher than its March 16 closing price. Freeport Morgan Copper and Gold reported its complete and acquisition of Phelps Dodge Corp. The combination creates the world's largest publicly traded copper company, which now has about 334 million outstanding shares. For stocks in the news, PetroChina announced its 2006 net profit rose 6.6%, slower than the previous 28% rise in the previous year due to higher production costs, wider refinery losses, and a windfall profit tax on oil sales. China's largest listed oil company by assets set its net profit last year in total 142.22 billion Chinese won, up from 133.36 billion in 2005. Schedule economics report for Tuesday will include the retail chain index for the week of March 17th, housing starts for February, and building permits for the month of February. As for earnings on Tuesday, we have Oracle, Adobe System, Boots and Coots, Perry Ellis International, Yamana Gold, and Sintas Corporation. This has been the market wrap for March 19th, 2007.